One absolute rule in implant dentistry is to never place an implant in the wrong position. The proper position and trajectory simplifies the restorative procedures and creates a more predictable, functional, and aesthetic outcomes. For this reason, it's crucial to have an effective surgical guide prepared for every implant patient. I emphasize effective because a good surgical guide has to effectively guide the surgeon to the planned position of the implant. The most common mistake among some dentists and laboratories when requested to make a surgical guide is fabricating a vacuum shell with an access hole on the top. The vacuum shell is made from duplicating a patient's existing prosthesis or wax up. This is not an effective guide. And here is why. While it provides orientation for the center of the implant, it does nothing for its orientation and angle. The pilot drill can be positioned too buccally, lingually, mesially, or distally because there is no predefined path. I can tell you that during surgery, it is virtually impossible to use such a guide and achieve the planned result. So do not use vacuum shells as surgical guides. It is simply ineffective and useless for the surgeon. A surgical guide must have predefined insertion path and provide the surgeon with precise guidance. The pilot drill, which is usually a 2.0 or a 2.3 millimeter drill, should fit perfectly in the hole. The guide hole should not allow any give to the guide because even a slightly larger hole, like 3 millimeters, can allow up to 10 to 15 degrees of play from the center of the axis. An effective guide has a predefined path with access hole diameter of 2.0 or 2.3 millimeters depending on the type of implant system being used. Make sure to discuss this with your surgeon. The access hole may be in acrylic or in metal sleeve. It must also have a positive seat and be very stable on the adjacent teeth. It cannot be flexible and it must be absolutely stable.